Morning class. Morning, how are you? Fine, thanks. And how are you, ma'am? I'm good. So today we'll be doing a continuation from the last chapter that we did in term two. What was the topic about? Networks. Good. I'm glad you still remember what we did. So today we'll be doing a continuation about the type of networks that we have. Please don't forget to write your notes. Ask any questions if you have. So let's recap from what we did from term two. So I'm just going to start with the recap from term two about networks. So you need to know what a network is. You need to remember that there are computing devices which are called nodes and they share data through data links. You need to know that there are two common types of networks, which is the home area network, the hen, and the pen, which is the personal area network. And you need to know what is a network server and a network client and that there are various devices helping the communication between nodes like switches, routers, and wireless access points. So getting to the main topic about the pen and the hands, there are different types of network. So I'm going to name them according to the smallest to the largest. We have the first one, the smallest, we have the personal area network, which is the pen, and the home area network, which is the hand. So these two types of networks, they are used in small areas such as home and small office environment. Then we have the local area network or the wireless local network that is used in bigger offices and in schools. Then the third one is the wide area network which connects more than local area network in different places. For example, like cities or buildings into one big network. So. The picture that they've provided in the textbook, it shows the difference between the wide area network, the local area network, and the personal area network, just for a clear understanding. So first of all, we, before we get to the pens and the hands, we need to understand why are, what are wired and wireless networks. A wired network is a common type of network that uses Ethernet cables or fire optic cables to transfer data between the computers that are connected to the network. So, wired network, it's one laptop that is connected to the printer, to a microwave, or to a computer. That's a wired network. Where else wired networks, they allow many devices to connect to the same internet connection, as well as to share files and other resources. So, looking at the picture that I've provided there, it shows that one router can access, can be connected to a phone, a tablet, a computer, and a laptop. Moving on to hands and pens. So, we know that a hand is a very small network that usually covers a single home. So, we can be able to share resources, for example, internet, smart appliances, printers, smart meters, and some even security system. So, a pen is like a hand, but it's even smaller. So, a pen refers to a small network built for a single person and contains all devices connected to this network. This can include all devices connected on most networks, for example, a computer, smartphone, and a printer. It can also include personal devices such as Bluetooth keyboards, earphones, and smartwatches. And we, we don't have to connect it to... A pen doesn't have to be connected using an IP address. We can connect it using Wi-Fi network or a Bluetooth or even a USB. So these advantages and advantages of pen. A pen saves space. It does not require an extra wire or space. It can connect to two devices. It's wireless. You can use a mouse and a laptop. All you need is a Bluetooth. It's easy to use. The, the setup is not complicated. It's possible because you can move these devices as a whole bunch. You can move these devices easily because they are not a whole bunch. It's reliable because it's stable for the devices within 10 meters of the network. The files and the information shared on this network can only be accessed through authorized people. So the disadvantages is because of the distance. Immediately when you leave home or you leave your house, it can't connect because of it's within a limitation of 10 meters. It is costly because pen only makes use of only electrical and digital devices, such as laptops, smartphones, and those are expensive. So it also has a slow data transfer because the use of Bluetooth transfer is very slow. Moving on to the advantages and disadvantages of hand. So advantages is that a hand is accessible because it, it allows many 
users to be connected it allows several users to connect to the same internet connection and the resources such as printers faxes and files it can be shared over the same network it is more economical because several users can use the same hardware and internet it, this reduces the cost of these things so the disadvantage is sometimes if someone is downloading a big file from the internet this can slow down the internet speed drastically for other users sometimes if your home network is not secure a random person who lives close by can have access to your files and folders on your network so it means that the password is necessary it is also costly so buying all the equipment required depending on the number of computing devices that must be connected to the network could be costly so we have come to the end of our lesson so i'm just gonna you're allowed to ask any questions if you don't understand and add any information that you think is necessary so i'm just gonna through the questions go through or go through the questions of the homework so the homework is as follows you're going to explain the difference between the hen and a pen it's four marks list one advantage and then this one disadvantage of a hen number three list one advantage and one disadvantage of pen the last question three common network devices are modern switches and routers match the description of the devices to its name you are only going to write down only one name of the device the device that is used to connect computers or networks to the internet they used to organize the root data on between networks they use the device that is used to connect many computers on the same network we have come to the end of our lesson thank you